Astrid I've actually, do you want to know, I've not had a chance of the few other things on to let this job. <laughs> is Alan out there or are they, they, are they all out there? How many days is that? Hey, you've got them all. Yeah, I do. Oh, sorry, it's a jumper, but it's actually injured. Heard that before, didn't you? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, we'll start off now. <laughs> Who wants to kick us off? I do, move. Hi there, good, thank you. No, well, uh, we'll just need to see how Emerson is. We're not sure how he is yet. Uh, so that would be probably the. Uh, main one, Maxi Corney's back here at the moment after uh, being away getting some treatment so but he, he won't be fit for this game Maxi I mean it's going to be a difficult task um, at home with only one goal down but I guess coming into this game there's lots of positive to think about in terms of what players in the time and are doing quite well what kind of challenges do you expect and how do you think we'll do it again well it's a, it's a big task but uh, we have done it before and hopefully we'll, we'll do it again and uh, we've played Freiburg a couple of times this season, three times this season now. So we have to try and get a victory from it. We all know the, the outcome has to be, you know, if we can win, then whether we win in 90 minutes or whether we win over 120 minutes, we have to do it one way or the other. So so I think our focus in, in every way is only about how we're going to win and uh, putting in a performance that gets us that. You say it's a big task. I mean... I know you're being respectful to the opposition, but you have already beaten them at home, and you're not that used to coming from behind in European times. No, the biggest memory would be Seville, where we had to come from behind in Seville. Uh, against Seville, I should say, at that time they were you no, know, they were winners of the competition several times. So I think that was a real tough task for us. It took us 120 minutes to get to get the job done that night. Uh, so that that will always be a big memory of mine in in our European sort of period we've been involved in. But look, Freiburg, Freiburg are a good, steady Bundesliga team. They're competing for Europe again. They have done. Uh, as I said, we've we've beaten them a couple of times this season. They've beaten us once now. So this one's the big important one because this one sort of gets you through to the next round, whether however whoever wins again. But uh, winning is the most important thing for us now, and we have to try and do that. How important is a big start tomorrow? Uh, it's always important in football to get a big start, but the biggest important thing is what what it ends up in the end. You know, and we we get the result if we can. So we'll do everything to start the game very well, and uh, we'll plan to be on the front foot as as early as we possibly can be. Is there a thought of trying to get Antonio and or Ings into the team as well as? And well, you try and work that out. Well, you're the man picking the team, not me. <laughs> yeah, but you're the one who's put the question over, so give me your ideas then to get all them in. It's always it's always possible to get attacking players. Uh, always is, that's right. It just happens that you've got to defend in football as well. It is always the case. Um, yeah. The crowd have been really good to you and the team in the European nights at home the last season and, and the year before. Crowd have been brilliant in the European games, especially. Again, the, the, what I mentioned there, Seville, you know, stands out. Uh, maybe that's when the start of the journey. You know, we really only it was our first season in it, and we were actually drawn against some really big opposition with Leon and Seville, for example. Uh, I, I think that we'll need the crowd to play a, a big, big part. Obviously, uh, we've got a, a slightly difficult kick-off time or a strange kick-off time for a for a football club in London. I think to be starting. So we've got to hope that uh, you get through all the rush hour. Flexible working hours allows people to get to the stadium in plenty of time, and uh, we can get that back in we we so badly we'll we'll need. I was going to say that was going to be my last one. I mean, generally, I think all of West Ham's home games in Europe over this year and the last two years have been eight o'clock starts. How difficult is it for you to get the team focused on a, a quarter to six kickoff? No, it won't be difficult. We'll, we'll prepare for the game as we would do any other game. So there's no no complaint about that. 
probably if we were talking football we would talk culturally in this country we, we don't normally kick off games but understand Europe Europe, and it's probably more to do with TV as well uh, from that point of view but as, as most people who live in around London would tell you it's a very difficult place to get to get to places around about that, that time in the evening Good luck seeing the qualifiers Thank you David, just on that point, anecdotally, there's a lot of West Ham fans that either can't make it or have to take the time off work. Sort of recreating that severe atmosphere, is that going to be harder? If- no, I think if we perform well, we'll get that atmosphere. So we we don't want to focus too much on on the other the other parts of it. But certainly, we we need to give the supporters something to be. We we did in the second half against Burnley, you know, and we got a a lively response from the players and a lively response from the support as well. So we need to give them something which uh, which they they can get behind. But obviously, you know, when a goal down, you need your home support. We had a penalty decision which didn't go in our favour in the, in the last kick of the ball and I just don't know how much no, the home support played in that, that not getting given so we need our support to, to help us as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. Does the earlier people make that harder to, to get to the uh, yeah, I, Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe I could look at it a different way see how kids can get to the game earlier. People come to the game. I send there's a wee bit more... F- Years ago in our country, we would have very rarely played. You no, know, everybody worked from nine to five, and it would have made all these things impossible. I think there's a bit more flexi hours. I believe I might be wrong in saying that. Uh, so it could be that uh, you no, know, it might be that it's great, great kickoff time, and it might be something which people enjoy because more young people can get to the game. But let's be fair, we play quite a lot of games early in, in Europe. Sometimes it's to do with the time difference. Sometimes it's not, so uh, maybe if we get an early game, sometimes we have to accept that as well. Um, six or seven of your players are still here, I think, or who played in that Seville game. How important could that experience be? Well, I think that we're gaining good experience in Europe, but we've also got a problem with team full of international players, if we've been honest. Nearly all the players at some time have played international football, but I think the games in Europe, uh, I think we're learning more. Uh, I think we're understanding a bit more how to how to control it. We'll need to do that tomorrow night. It's it's easy to say put all your attacking players out because that's what you need to do. But happens to have that we have another opposition to play against and make sure that we we play the game over ninety minutes and and try and win the tie over that period. So we'll do everything we possibly can to to get through in the, the competition. And uh, it's a competition we we really want to continue to do well with it two or three magnificent years in it and we want to keep it going. On Danny, obviously a big part of your play over the weekend. Do you have a big role to play this season? I think we've always planned for Danny to have a, a big role to play. I think Danny you knows probably you know, came into a game which suited. We were the, the team in top, lots of uh, penalty box entries and opportunities and who could, who had the, who had the tidy finishes and who could finish well. Well, everybody knows Danny Ings is great at that, that part of the, the game. There's been other games where we've not had as much of the ball, not as much round the box, where I don't I don't see Danny giving us quite as much as we would require there. But uh, he done a great job coming on. It's what we hoped. We hoped Danny Ings would get his goals when he comes on uh, or starts. But they're probably his first goals for a while. So please for him. And he, he was unlucky maybe not to score more than, he, more than the one goal he got. Efren? Yeah, they're two, they're two really strong uh, English players who've been in the round England squad for, for long periods of time. So I don't pick the England team, but you'll always be judged on your performances and how you play. There's no doubt whether you know, you're playing for West Ham or whoever, you have to play well to be selected for England and uh, hopefully there's, there's a chance that they can both be selected. Uh, yes and no. I think when you're in Europe, I think you never know. I mean, look, you, you talk about it, but our first game, I think, was Dinamo Zagreb away. 
and it felt like oh, what a game away from home and you know the way we treated it the players you know we won away from home in Zagreb which was a, a huge result nevertheless you know we the reason we got a game against Seville was because of how well we had done in the group and how well we had played against those other teams so that was our first years in it and uh, first year in it I should say for a long long time and I think when it got to the 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 group of the, the the last 16 and then the quarterfinals etc I think you know people were excited before that we were nearly had 60,000 at every game in Europe in the first year it was fantastic so uh, we want to keep that up and uh, we're not changing we're still trying to win it so we want everybody behind us David you've spoken before about sort of after three years turning West Ham into a club that oversees the scenes of the bigger club in Europe these are the pictures where you need to tell the players to go out and act like it. Very much so. You know, if you want to be in the big stage now, now's your chance to put your act on. We're on the big stage. Put, show your act. Show. If you can't perform, don't go on stage. I'm just on Calvin as well. Could be obviously a big part of him coming here was to keep his place in the squad. Mm-hmm. Help us out. Help us with that. Did you hope that having that to take him off at the weekend at half time, mm-hmm. you might settle a bit? Well, look, it wouldn't have mattered who I took off at the weekend. The job was that we had to try and find a way of getting a result and getting back in the game and whatever we'd done at the start, whether it be a bit hangover from the from the game on the Thursday or whether it was a poor performances generally or lethargic start to the game, whatever whatever you want to call it, I could have taken off any one of the players, really. It, we, we'd started that poorly. But we we made the changes, and unfortunately, uh, Calvin was one of the one of the players who had, had chose to take off and see if we could turn it around. So he just needs to keep keep his head down, keep working. Things will turn for him, and we've got no doubt for that. No doubt about that. Do you think the call up would be good for him, or would you prefer him to keep his head down, maybe at West Ham? Uh, like the call the call ups, not my shout, and I can't say whether it would be good or bad for him. All I know is that you know. Uh, the England manager's got a brilliant squad of players to pick from, probably going to go into this Euros favourites to win the competition. So to be in the group of, I don't know many players, 23, 24 players, whatever they take, uh, it's a big thing to do that, to be in the best 23 or 24 England players at the moment because there's so many good good English players just now. It's, it's a too simplistic to say tomorrow, you think she's considering it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not something we've done regular at the moment, but... It would be. It would, might be too simplistic to say that, but that would be a great step. Look, the games were incredibly tight. The, the game the other night was incredibly tight. Uh, we gave away a, a, a really sloppy goal on 82 minutes, so it was looking as if there wasn't wasn't any goals in the game. So um, it, the games have all been tight. The first game was tight in the, in the group stage. The second game was was tight. We got a couple of goals up, but it was still very tight. So I don't expect it to be much different. Yeah, I've seen I've seen bits where I've, I'm beginning to think this is this is better. You know, we've 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 defended a bit better at times. You know, the for long periods of the games we've defended better. You know, we we lost the goal at Everton. We uh, we uh, lost a couple of goals against uh, Brentford. But I saw better all-round defensive performances, and uh, I have to say as well, my goalkeeper's been playing magnificently well as well. So uh, credit to him as well. Well, we will we'll always be prepared or be as prepared as we possibly can be. But you wouldn't expect it any other way. The level of the level of where football's going now, you know, and what people do and the work. So it'll be no different for Freiburg. Uh, I'm sure as well. They'll be the same. Okay. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.